Um, welcome to Shasta. Um, it's just the uh, moment before all the eclipses coming up, the year 2017, and uh, we're sitting um, here and uh, uh, in this really beautiful setting. Um, we've got some of our braves around us, and uh, we have Keegan on the camera and Looking Frog on audio, so hopefully we've got good video and good audio. But um, uh, what we would be cared to talk just a little bit about is uh, what has occurred um, as we eclipse usury, which, what is this really about, uh, the eclipse movement and usury? But um, we're surrounded just right now in a really very, very beautiful parkland, and <clears throat> uh, you could say that this is the headwaters of the Sacramento, because we're right at Shasta, beautiful uh, springs coming out of the ground and uh, you've got, we're up around about 8,000 uh, feet or so and the water that fell here um, 50 years ago by precipitation it has been studied to show that that's something which is coming out now of the ground today so uh, it just does show you that in a cycle of time something could have occurred 50 years ago and the precipitation that year is what's flowing out now you see so it's very amazing. Um, we're surrounded really by, you know, emerald algae and uh, mosses and al alder tree and uh, willow and thorn bushes and things. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you've got yellow jackets and wasps and hornets and things that are really buzzing incredibly with life. And you might occasionally hear some birds sound. But anyway, <clears throat> Uh, we came here to Shasta to connect in with our family and um, it's amazing that <coughs> Eclipse is coming up and might there be a new day and a renaissance uh, that's here and could we recognise this? Yeah. <coughs> so what questions might anybody have? Uh, recovering parent-child heaven. Okay, so well, straight away, um, you're not a thing, and when you've been relegated to be a thing by the court, that is absolutely sinful, right? And that's the kind of thing that's going on at the moment. So <clears throat> you're not a thing, and um, how dare anybody say that you're just an account, um, or how dare anybody uh, not care for verifiable information. But <clears throat> the reason for that at the moment is that in this infanticide, where you're only being held as an infant and not to have a mind and that you're being considered a lunatic by this guild um, <clears throat> that's occupied the public courthouse all over the earth and uh, they convert your claim down to a level of a complaint like what has happened to me and that everyone that's working in the courthouse for the most part is not working for you and I today uh, but how could they when you and I we don't own the own, our own currency at all and uh, it starts out with an infanticide that happens by you being only considered to be an infant, which is a state of mind, and that you're not really uh, considered to be living. So it starts straight out by you only being considered dead. So you could be yourself connected to a dead condition, which is what, four or five or six people deciding your fate? That's dead. There's no central organised nervous system inside that. You and I, we have to have a day today where we get rid of the idea that all re lie johns, re meaning do it again, lie straight up a fiction in some region is going to help you. You can look at all these rabbis and priests and people like that and uh, it's not helped a think single thing for thousands of years, some religions at least 4,000 years, others a couple thousand years, but you're going to see these priests, you're going to see people in the temples and stuff, but you look outside and all you can see is trash. And what you can see coming out of people's mouths is sexist, big time, without anybody questioning it. It's like using the vestibular system to be up there and not have any idea that, hey, what do you mean you're up there? You mean to say uh, there's a lower self? <clears throat> All the literature that these people read fully doesn't disclose to them that there's an up and a down inside the literature. How bad is that? <clears throat> but when you put things in terms of going up, uh, with the vestibular system, um, that's stressful of itself, you know. So ladders, presenting things with ladders and things, how crazy. But you and I, uh, we have a pending crisis, um, and that is the uh, slow collapsing of the world currency. And here in, on Turtle Island, the uh, collapsing of the currency to 
a certain financial martial law. And so the underestimation of the dangers of the collapsing of the currency of the earth is really something that you know, Eclipse.now um, is, uh, or EclipseNow.net um, is addressing. So what about restoring common law? <clears throat> so um, where you are only held to be a thing, that's commercial law as a thing. Uh, meaning that you cannot be held under commercial law and how dare anybody make your issue something that's under commercial law which that's what's going on like my son for instance who's been kidnapped was cloistered was was put to death practically on a couple of occasions and he's not been able to have his father you and I we live in a world at the moment that's probably amongst the most sinful um, insane society personally and so yeah that's something which I actively care to change yeah so sometimes somebody's ears are burned aren't they because uh, you know I'm just sorry I don't agree with any religion okay I don't right so straight up why don't you know that uh, invite me if you want to hear that otherwise why argue with me that you don't you know uh, but you could think about points that I raise like most of these religions are sexist they're putting things in terms of him and her wrongfully and excluding the other gender perpetually, non-stop. Putting things in terms of an upper self, a lower self, how crazy. Uh, telling you to think, how weird. Having to put all sorts of thoughts in your head. Uh, mind reading. And you've got people, uh, even old crogies, and God help us, they're amongst the most cranky people you've ever met in your life. And even here in Shasta, you've got some cranky old people running around reckoning that fictional stuff in your head is going to help everything. It isn't. But uh, having a quiet, relaxed voice, being able to treat your guests nicely, having the ability to be able to listen and hear rather than the first night that I connect with you, you say, I'm going to talk about me. And this old coot tells you about himself, God help us. But I saw all the young ears were just bored. But I was begging, please, could you actually help this conversation? Because it was so boring. Okay. Keep it going. Let's go. Uh, it, it, on that note, uh, create a constitution. How, we, how, how do you plan to create a constitutional currency? And what is the arm? <clears throat> okay, so 500 years of existedness has been under a centralized, antiquated system that cannot work for you and I to be involved in your transactions whatsoever when they don't need to be, period. You and I, we have a public ledger which can be to verify your transactions, time stamped, and this is a free system, it doesn't cost you anything, and why should it? Oh. So it's a new day, okay? A new day. Yes. Um, how important is it to uphold original rights? And what, what are the original rights? Um, the right that my child has to have his father that is just trashed by this um, black and white frocked wigged system in America. Yeah. There you go. You don't care. This system doesn't give a crap about kids. Um, and uh, on applying resource after we've eclipsed usury. Um, it's possible for you and I to, to create money asset backed. So, for instance, this whole state needs to be recanopied. Everywhere you go, you see <coughs> uh, people who are using the land, the farmers have ruined the land fully <coughs> and they're not doing anything to change it too much. And then more and more and more land is just being ruined more and more. You know? And so, can we keep doing that? I think it's a time for aesthetics. Uh, one should stop and be more about aesthetics, yes? yes? So today, all of the things which is of an interest is open spaces, no fixed furniture, places where people <coughs> sit to be together, uh, the, where you have an entrance to your home that's very tall. Um, it could be uh, more of a focus on where food is prepared today. People love to see this rather than being shut away like the cafe when we went today, you can't see anyone who's working in the kitchen and it's really old style, see? But modern styles are more open, yeah? And there is no fixed furniture. 
um, and homes are more in the earth. But we could build, have projects which we can create arms for, and it's asset back. So, uh, $750 billion that's spent to recanopy California, that's spent for one year. That gives every working person maybe only maybe 9,000, 11,000 something in their hand. Uh, but you need more than that, and you need to have to be put into circulation what can be absorbed by your product and service, and uh, just to be a rule based on that. And uh, this should be a service for all of us, not, not some of the private service that you and I are being given, because that's setting someone up for superior, inferior, and every single religion is based upon this inferior, superior, and they want to write and write up and down they want to get your brain up and down. They have no idea about, they'll say you have a higher self, meaning you have a lower self. <clears throat> You've got uh, a lot of mind reading, so others will tell you what you're thinking, like uh, maybe you can have had an experience of seeing some old coot tell me today what I was thinking, but how could that bloke know anything about anyone else's thinking? He had no idea about his own thinking, nor even that he bored the hell out of all of the younger ones uh, for 40 minutes or more just talking diatribe about his own life. How's that going to help you and I? <clears throat> Wrong. Okay? So building homes into the earth, uh, could you tell us more about life ceramic? Homes should be put in the earth straight away because everything you see right now is an eyesore. Okay? That's it. Disappear your eyesore period where you are and get into the earth and cover over everything and make the earth good. Why? Because it's, it's an insulative blanket that can keep you warm in the years to come because you're coming in for an ice age. If you're cold now, hey, you're going to be miserable shortly, all right? Unless you, are, you learn how to live in the cold because you're going to come into an ice age. Anybody's in cold, wet, damp climate, wrong. Many people died in the last uh, mini ice age, okay? Besides ending usury and changing the politics, there's a deeper spiritual aspect to this eclipse. Could you explain a little bit more about this? Deeper than uh, changing the politic. Yeah, these are um, insignificant. Yeah. Today. Most will want to hold, hold us back in the past. They don't even know what the future is, but they want to take us back into the past. But um, <clears throat> um, you could really say that all religions that came to be where they put things in terms of a sexism, where the sun would be this, the earth would be that, and the tree would be him or her. And how ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life, okay? But you need to hear me say that. Maybe you never heard anyone ever say that, okay? But when you examine it, hey, uh, <clears throat> I worked in for five years and examined one area. It's called gender egalitarianism. If you haven't read anything about gender, then how can you talk anything to me? But if I said to you, why can't you be more aware of your gender and the way you're using it? And someone says, screw you, like the old bloke did, you know, uh, that's in some Essene movement that's all into him and her. And then they'll say, the mother and let's protect the mother, but many more fathers are losing their lives before mothers. He's an idiot, sorry, okay? And he, but he's someone's baby. Any more questions? Uh, yeah, could you explain up? more about the moratorium? Could you give us some details on uh, what a moratorium is? I know I didn't ever hear about that word until you brought it up to me. I find fascination. August the 21st is the first solar eclipse, which is a major solar eclipse that goes across the Earth. The idea that I've been forwarding is let's use the eclipse to check the box, yes, you want reform in banking, and make this eclipsing usury. So, you know, if we, we can uh, build the biggest movement the Earth's ever seen and we can vote to eclipse usury, we can enact a year of a moratorium where you're just asked to know how currency is created if you're in government, that's it. And then you can get on with government again. But until you know how currency is created, how can you be in government? Do you know what I mean? Okay, so 
That's an idea. I reckon that's a really good idea. I have never heard anyone with a better idea. Uh -huh. And so January the uh, 31st, uh, it kicks off a moratorium. But then uh, January the 23rd, 2018, uh, we're handing a notice into the Provost Marshals, Master Generals, um, of a, a morator being asked for a moratorium in government making any new decisions in banking for one lunar eclipse year from January the 31st to um, January, January the 31st, 2018 to January the 21st, 2019. And it's the path of least resistance, right? I really care, you know, who, where you are, you're listening. You can have some comfort in your day. Um, but you could be hassled. You might know what that's like to be hassled, yeah? But for several years now, uh, my child has been stolen. No one has any claim. No, and no title. Uh, but you're living in a world of a black frock, white wig conditioning of a monopolization and you've got people, <coughs> others, just like want to speak to you in La La Land and tell you about how some letter is written or how to put a, a lace in your shoe. <coughs> you know, you and I, we have to have more prioritization in ourselves. Um, because you've got water that comes here from Shasta, it's unaffected by drought or darkness, <clears throat> comes out at a steady rate. The water that comes out fell 50 years ago to the day in precipitation, stored and is underground for that long, comes out of the ground here at 42 degrees, and that's mature water. It's a very, very amazing spot where we are, and um, it's just very beautiful to be amongst the uh, Elder trees, you know, the elder trees and willow, and then yeah. with thorn bush. Could you explain what you meant by mature water? Mature water is water which <coughs> has levity. <coughs> All water that's being used at the moment is a water that won't create proper fructogenic much and causes soil that it goes on to become more and more and more hydrophobic and eventually not be useful. So water that's mature is extremely different. It's water that spins to the left and it has a, a property of levity, meaning it wants to rise. And it only can if you have shade. So where there is no shade, you fight the situation if you have a garden. Life food agrarianism is something you could learn about. Uh, which is another work. Anyway, if you're listening to this, <clears throat> I hope you're having a really wonderful day. I hope this has given you a little bit of insight into the movement. We came to Shasta to connect in with everyone and I'm really glad that we got this piece uh, that we could um, put this out onto the net. Anyway, um, I hope everybody's having a really wonderful day. Thank you so much to Shasta and everybody here in Shasta and uh, we're going to be moving on to Nevada City um, as we move or toward this movement. Anyway, I really love to thank all the people who have been assisting and you should know this is a new day where if you're out there right now, go to eclipsenow.net and if you're a programmer, you can be paid uh, to assist to help us get what we need to be online for all of us. So it's a free service for all of us into the future. No charges to be for any transaction and no taxes and you get a standard of living in your life and it's a new day where uh, there is no reason to have the system that we have at the moment. We can have a new system with the renaissance and if you go and learn about this, uh, go to eclipsenow.net and check this out. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Oh.